Hi there. In this short video, I'm going to be introducing Spectrum E, showing a bit about the various features um, and navigating to calculate coverage maps uh, using the tool. So we'll start by logging in with Spectrum E uh, and navigate straight away to the home page. From here, we can see the, the documentation page, which if we select that, we can get the, the user manual um, for the information that we're uh, interested in about the, the various functions and methodologies uh, in use within Spectrum E. So this guide details the step-by-step -step process of running coverages um, through the tool and the other analysis that we can carry out here. We've got links to antenna pattern manufacturers so you can identify a suitable antenna for your project and you're able to upload that within the, the network page as well. So we'll get to that. We've also got some handy RF calculators so you can convert between units um, for using within the tool. Uh, the My Networks page, if we click on that, shows the, the active projects that we've got. To create a new project, what we'll do is we'll type the new project name, press Create, and that will be placed in our current network. We can select an alternative project just by clicking on it and it'll pop up into our network. We have the ability to import CSV files, which again is covered within the user manual. Going back to the home page, any predictions that we save uh, can be easily accessed, just again by clicking on them and they'll appear in our mapping window. So we'll move over to the mapping window now. And here we can see we've got uh, map data for the entire world. Uh, we've got photo aerial views. Uh, we've got the terrain layer as well, which is between 25 and 30 meter terrain resolution. Um, so for our project, what we'll do is we'll set up a couple of stations um, and run some coverages. So if we right click on the map, we can add a TXRX station. Once we've created the station, we'll fill in the parameters here and then press add object to add it to our network. So that our objects that we'll add will appear under the TXRX object. So this is our generic radio object that has the most functions available to use with it. We have other objects like FM, TV, microwave links, and we'll cover those maybe in a future webinar. So creating a coverage of a station is a two-step process. The first thing that we do is calculate what's called a path loss matrix. And that calculates using the parameters within the, the object out to a determined radius, uh, the path loss out to the specific receive points. So we create the path loss matrix by running, um, for this one we'll use the propagation model ITUP1812. If we click on this, uh, searching for this propagation model, we can see the ITU recommendation that's been implemented here. What we'll do is we'll put our calculation distance and the profile sampling is how many samples along the calculation distance for the, the maximum radial uh, that we're selecting. So this would, um, so if we do 100 uh, and 1,000, that means we'll be every 100 metres we'll be taking a sample. We click Run. So we can run it for our object. We can also use the Apply To to select all of the object within our network. So now we've calculated it, what we can do is we can scroll along just to confirm the propagation model used, the receive antenna height, and um, the radius of the, um, the coverage that we've created. So what we can do is we'll do this for all of them, select all objects. We can also have the pull down menus here. We'll look at a slightly lower receive antenna height. Put this one thousand. Run this for, for all the objects. So we can see we've got kind of multi-core functionality when we're generating these path loss matrices. 
And this has to be done once um, every time you change the, the power or frequency parameters or antenna heights as well for the, the objects. So now to create our output map, we've got two options to create a coverage. We can either use a DBM looking at the power received or DBU looking at the field strength received. So again, depending on the technology um, and the parameters that you're looking to, to view, you use one or the other. Um, for this example, we'll look at the field strength receive map. So by highlighting the object that we're interested in, clicking field strength receive map, we get the option to name that. So this is test one coverage. And again here, if we want to do a composite coverage of all the objects, we would just select all objects. Press process. And this will take it to our map so we can understand the, the coverage of this site. So we can change the palette by clicking on the palette here. Um, we have our um, various palettes that we can create for specific technologies. Um, just by the using the create palette function at the bottom here. If we click on the create palette function, it'll ask us what we want to call the palette, the type of palette that we're creating. So generally for a coverage, either be DBM or DBU type palette, how many entries, and then from here, we can edit the values and change the labels as well for our outputs. We also have the spectrum palette, it's called, which is our kind of default which shows a range of values and um, setting your minimum maximum thresholds and a sort of rainbow style map and um, showing the coverage across the site. So that's created a single coverage. When we want to create a composite coverage of all the stations, we'll just highlight them. Use the field strength receive function again. This will be all composite coverage press process and we can see the combined output from the map here. So the, another function that we can do um, is the best server function. So if we have a talk out best server, what we can do is identify the best server at each location in the map. So what we'll do is we'll look at, um, if we select all the stations that we're interested in, we'll do the talk out best server. And here we're gonna do a threshold of 40 dBU. Choose the number of colors that we want to use within the map. And then we can click the map to view the coverage so we can understand what station has the strongest field strength at each of the locations as well. So these can be used for designing any network. Um, again, within the, the user manual in the documentation page, there's a array of other functions that we can use as well for designing our networks. Within the network page, the antennas drop down here shows some of the catalog of antennas. And we can also upload their own antenna files um, for our stations. More details again are within the user manual on the documentation page. So that's a short video um, showing some of the features of Spectrum E to get up and running and start creating coverages and designing your own networks. Hope you find this useful. And thanks very much for joining us.